Well, at least we got a little bit of blue sky showing up there today, a little better than yesterday. Hi, everyone. Bob McGuire here in the Q2 Weather Center. And as you can see, we've got plenty of sunshine out there. And with the sunshine, we get warmer temperatures, 56 degrees out there right now, with a southwesterly wind of 22, gusting to 32 miles per hour here in the early afternoon. When it comes to high winds, we're not alone. Look at that. On the eastern slopes of the divide, winds gusting from 32 at Cutbank, all the way down to 44 miles per hour over in Livingston. So breezy day there. And it looks like we also have a high wind warning for that area right out from Canada all the way down to the Beartooth foothills. Could see winds gusting there as high as 70 miles per hour. A little later tonight and into Wednesday uh, in the Billings area and east of there into Bighorn County, could see winds gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour. Plus, we're going to talk about snow. Front range of the Rockies could see 4 to 8 inches of snow at the pass level above 5,000 feet. And uh, above the pass level, more like 18 inches of snow. Over by Missoula, it is a winter weather advisory there. Above the 4,000 foot level, could see 5 to 18 inches of snow with gusty winds and accumulating ice in that area. And here it is on the Doppler radar and satellite imagery. Look at all the snow and rain out in west central Montana. The big question, will it make its way into the Billings area? Here's what computer models are showing. You'll see the rain and snow out there now. Now later tonight by 6 o'clock, probably not in here yet in Billings, just some cloudy skies rolling through. By Wednesday morning, that cold front gets a little bit closer to the Billings area, but most of the snow stays out in the western part of the state. Sunny skies move in for the rest of Wednesday, and so does the wind. We'll keep the sunny skies right with us right on into Thursday. So what will the temperatures do? 50 degrees on Wednesday for a high, and and then we'll roll it back down into the 40s right on through into the weekend and into the beginning of next week. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at ktdq.com.